Let me hear you say crooks, yeah! Crooks, yeah! Let me hear you say crooks, yeah! Crooks, yeah! Crooks, yeah! Podcast. Crooks, crook! Crooks, yeah, brother. Crooks, yeah. What's Crux, going yeah. on, dude? Here with Diego Rangel, Brian Kim, dude. What's up, boys? How are you? Just chilling. Yeah, and thanks. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually very nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous, bro. First we'll podcast. Don't yeah. be nervous, dude. Don't be nervous. Well, um, I'll tell you, <laughs> this is your first podcast. <laughs> yeah, you said like, it's the first podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the first time skydiving oh, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the first time's always special, you yeah. know? Uh, Diego was here when there was nothing, bro. When there was no fucking sign, when there was no table, oh, okay. when there was no... It was just me and him sitting in a chair staring at each other. There was a right. table, wasn't there? Was there a table? I don't table? think there was a table yet. No. It was two chairs. I sat in that chair and I brought a dining room chair for you to sit in, I think. But the, one thing... What? The budget has increased immensely. The budget has increased, bro. Everything's growing, dude. Yeah, Crux Nation has been growing, dude, and Crux expanding. Nation. And pillaging, and oh my God. lives, taking over, claiming territory. So, <laughs> anyway, dude, it uh, you. dude. So, uh, real quick, what we do different from when you were on last time, man? I get all the promo stuff out of the way and all that stuff. Oh, wow. So, as always, you can follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram at Crux Crawford, C R U X Crawford, because there's no other name like it. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, watch on YouTube. I do everything multi camera video. If you haven't caught up with that yet, if you just want to listen on Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen, that's fine too. But everything is available video and audio everywhere. In case you didn't know, leave me a five star rating on Spotify and Apple Podcast of whatever you listen on. Email me at cruxcrawford at gmail.com if you want to send me any clips, any feedback, or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, man, so where I'm going to be, I'm going to be at Tup's Brewery. No, wait. First, I'm going to be at Plano House of Comedy on May 10th, next Tuesday. Then I'm going to be at Tufts Brewery in McKinney, Texas uh, on uh, Friday, March 13th. And then um, I'm going to be at uh, the first Saturday, August 6th, I think it is, whatever. The first Saturday of August, I'm going to be at uh, MacGyver's, back at MacGyver's in Burleson, Texas. And then uh, Diego Rangel, man, where can they find you? Where are you going to be? You can find me. Um, I have a show. You, at you the can find them in my room. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me in many places. Uh, where I'd like to be found is you can, I'll be, I have a show at the Addison Improv May 21st, Dirty at 1130, 1130 p.m. May 21st, and then June 10th and 11th. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying yet. But I will be opening for Kirsty Hayden at the Comedy Arena, May June tenth and eleventh. Damn, yeah, dude. yeah. damn, Ooh. yeah. And that's all I got. For that's now. all you got, okay, Brian, Brian Kim. Um, you can catch me at the uh, open mics. <laughs> 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 um, you know, fresh off the boat, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm new into this, you know been good um <laughs> do you, you don't want to share your your instagram yeah hey, you didn't share your instagram bro. my instagram handle okay i, yeah, I <laughs> it's a little long it's go diego go haha ha, get it but there's a period in between each word so go period diego period go period haha ha, period get period it period no no, no period, no period after, period after it I Once just, again, that's, that's go. <laughs> this go, Diego, go, haha, ha, get it, period, in between each I mean, words. if you look up, I'm sure if you, well, fuck, how many Diego Rangels pop up if you look up Diego Rangel on Instagram? Probably a lot. Yeah. I mean, too many, arguably. Way too many. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what about you, Brian? Where can they find you, dude? Oh, um, just Brian Kim live. You know, I just went with the generic, easy to... Easy to find. As opposed not, not to like dead. Me. Uh you know, go suck, go Brian <laughs> Kim, you know. Like I couldn't do that. <laughs> kept it generic. You know? Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's yeah. actually well, my plan for my handle is actually gonna be more complicated. I was gonna put like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna put like no go Diego go no no go go no Diego go. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> because I, I intentionally want it to be complicated, which isn't smart at all for marketing. It's not a good right? marketing tactic. It's horrible. For sure. It's mm-hmm. like literally the opposite of what mm. you're supposed to do. But yeah. Well, but, you know, hey, man, to yeah. each his own, dude. Yeah. But hell yeah, man. I mean, that's where they can find you guys. Uh, thanks so much for coming. And Brian Kim brought some, what are these? They're uh, mochi donuts. Fuck mochi yeah. Donuts. We're going to dig um, into these. These are badass. Yeah. Not it's regular a, donuts. It's a hot item right now. Are they? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like you stole it. Or no, no. It's like it's like uh, you know when like yogurt, frozen yogurts first came around. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like Asians love like you know trendy things. Mm-hmm. It's, it's mm-hmm. like the new new frozen yogurt right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. So mochi donuts are like the frozen yogurt. They're the shit right now. <laughs> new frozen yogurt, bro. Yeah, yeah. Koreans just go crazy for mochi donuts. Right, it's right. fucking great, it's, dude. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Thanks Should for bringing we, this, man. Yeah, You're the yeah. first guest to bring food. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, first guest. First food guest. Yeah. So, thank you. Thanks for coming out here, guys. Uh, yeah, man. We had the fucking, the big once a month fucking thing at the improv Yeah, that yesterday. was fun. A lot of fucking people show up for that, dude. You can count on your hand pretty much like every comedian in Dallas-Fort Worth area that's not there versus who is there. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, there, there were some comics from Fort Worth that I don't really see that often there. You know, and not everybody got to go up either. They cut the list off at forty, which I feel like it it could have kept going, but it's probably best to limit it after a while. Yeah, otherwise it probably will feel like it drags on. Yeah, yeah dude. I mean, even even like because like I remember the first time they did it, I went first, which that's cool, right? That's always great because yeah, then that's you're always done. Perfect, but. This time I went toward the end, and dude, even at forty, it was like it fucking. It felt like it was like over already. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it was just like let's end this. I want to end this. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. What do you think the of the addition of having a piano player? I liked it. Yeah, I liked it, dude. That was cool. Nice little touch. Colton. I, I feel like that was a little. That's why, like, I definitely didn't say anything. I felt like too many people commented on the fucking piano player, though. You know what I mean? Like, I get it, like one or two people, but then if you're like the twentieth person to say something about the piano player, right? I mean, come on, bro. Like Diego. Like, yeah. I think I was the first. Was I <laughs> the first were, one to bring it Well, up? okay. So Sri Raj fucking did like the oh, give yeah, me the bouncing C yeah. and then yeah. fucking Tyber was like, can you fucking do like the Dr. Dre kind of thing? Yeah, that's true. You know? And hey, man, to each his own, you, whatever you want to do with your time mm-hmm. up there, I'm not trying to tell people what to do with their time yeah. by any means, but I'm just saying like, bro, the first couple, this is just my opinion. Like the last thing I was going to do when I went up there, cause I was at the end was to fuck with the piano. Guy. Yeah. It's like, bro, 20 people have already tried to be cool and go yeah, like, right. Hey bro, you play an instrument in yeah. front of me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I don't know. Dig into the three minutes. That I liked, I liked there, what yeah. you, you just sat up there in the moment and fucking, you know, yeah, I had went fun. With it. it was I good. Had with it. It was I, good. I was the only person who asked for his name because everyone else is like, play something or yeah, or that was else. good. I was like, what's your name, sir? C- C- Colton? Give it up for Colton. Did you go kick a Colton? No, I did. Oh. I should have. Is that his have. Instagram handle? Is it cup period, cup period? <laughs> cup period, cup period, <laughs> Colton. <laughs> no period at the end. Oh, man, dude. But yeah, man. Um, Always like fucking seeing you guys at, yeah. you know, well, open you mics know. and all the stuff. No, you're so very kind. Glad you came out here. Yeah. He's a tall man. I'm like some people, bro. Some people are not kind. Oh know? yeah. I mean, yeah. So people who will, sh- we don't drop names on right. this podcast. Yeah. But yeah. Some people aren't <laughs> as kind, bro. And to be honest, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like mm-hmm. that. I don't agree with that. Right. You right. Know? Yeah. I don't agree with that. Gotta start a healthy community. Mm. Speaking <laughs> of things being, I, so one thing I've been waiting to talk about this week is normally guys, I push this back partially because of rescheduling and partially for you guys to make it work because normally I put everything out. It comes out midnight Tuesday, right? So this this is going to come out tonight, but it's going to be a little late because normally every episode, audio comes out, as listeners know, audio comes out every Tuesday, at Monday at midnight, right? So Tuesday, you know, technically, right? Tuesday at midnight. Yeah, Monday late night or Tuesday at midnight, however you want to put it. And then the video for each episode comes out the following Tuesday, right? So like the video for this episode will be out next week, right? Right, right. But the audio will be out tonight, right? So one thing I've been wanting to talk about on this episode is once again, nameless, but something that like fucking pissed me off, like annoyed me, dude. So I was at uh, Fort Worth Hyenas last Thursday and I was hanging out with like Kyle with like, you know, a couple 
people that we're friends with, you know, mm -hmm. just talking. And um, I went there after Backdoor, right? So it was my second night. It was a double dip night. So I went there for the mic. And it was later. I got there late, you know. So it was, like, kind of dying down a little bit. The crowd was kind of dissipating. And for some reason, dude, the guy that was on, everybody was chill and quiet <laughs> when he fucking, wow, look at you, polite etiquette, bro. Yeah. Um, Still interrupted, but no, it's, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, at least you didn't do it like on the microphone, yeah. so that it's, I appreciate that. But yeah, so he uh, okay. So there was a guy up in front of me. I came a little late. I missed my thing. Luckily, the host was like, "Fucking hey, man, you know, you still want to go?" And I was like, "Yeah, sorry, I'm late." And so there was a guy that was on the stage, and he, you know, people were quiet. Right, the crowd, the crowd was quiet. There was like maybe like four or five tables or something, you know, and. Uh, so that guy finishes his set, you know, then I go up and all of a sudden, dude, like two of the tables up front start e each in respectively, like individually talking to one another. Like it's two tables of two people. Right. right so they right. both decide to just start talking to each other. Right. So like I didn't do anything crazy. I wasn't like, shut the fuck up or anything like that. <laughs> I didn't do anything like <laughs> confrontational right, or right. cringy or anything. Yeah. I just went, um. I actually copied what I saw Ralph Barbosa do at an open mic, which I thought was actually pretty creative. It was not, but it was cool. It was cool because it's like, it's saying something about it, but it's not being abrasive. He went like, he went like, because it happened to him once. And he was like, no, it's okay. We can talk during this guy's set. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can talk. Yeah. It's cool. Right. So then people get the message, but yeah. you're not being mean. You know what I mean? Right. So I did that. Right. But this is a different context. Cause that was a DC. That was a Dallas comedy club where people are, it's earlier in the night. People are there to see yeah. the open mic. So, like, yeah. they're in a good mood. They're having drinks. They're taking it all in. Fort Worth Hyenas is like, they've already sat through a two-hour show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now they're fucked up. They're sitting here through this open mic that they kind of got trapped into because everybody barks and gets them to sit yeah. down. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the first little while they're into it, because, like, oh, cool, more comedy. Maybe right, we'll grab right. another drink. You know, this is free, too. But then once you get into where I was, it's like, these are the people that not only have they sat through a long ass comedy show. Now they've sat through over an hour of the open mic too. Yeah. So yeah. this is fucking late, bro. Yeah. I so, can't believe people stick around for that. Honestly. I'm glad they do, but I can't either. You know what I mean? I can't, I can understand sticking around for the first block or two. Yeah. This was the end of the second block though. So <clears throat> it wasn't, I think it wasn't crazy anyway. So I just went, my point is same technique, but different fucking crowd. This is not the same thing, right? So they, they, they stopped, they stopped, but then like I kept telling uh, jokes, like I kept doing material and it was all newer stuff. So then like they kind of, the, the room kind of like a couple of people laughed, but those tables didn't. Right. And then I had to address it. I was like, okay, I understand you guys are mad because I told you to be quiet. Okay. I get it. You know, but it had to be done. It had to be done. They laughed at that. Right. So then they loosened up a little bit. I was up there for three fucking minutes. Like, cause I don't have a lot of time yeah. to like win them back. Mm -hmm. So I just did my shit. And then wrapped up. I got a, like a couple laughs here and there, but me telling them to be quiet definitely fucked with with mm. the whole thing a little bit, right? So I'm, I'm admitting that up front before I tell you the rest of the story. Okay, so I get off stage. I talk to Kyle and a couple other people, and we're like, "Hey, let's let's not just let's catch up. Let's go outside of the room, right?" So we go by the bar. There's a guy. I'm not going to mention his name, obviously, <clears throat> on the podcast. There's a guy that comes up. He doesn't come around a lot. He comes up and he like kind of injects himself in the conversation and goes like, Hey man, um, just curious why you told those people to be quiet. Ooh. And I'm like, you know, I was like, well, what was I supposed to do? Just let them keep talking. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like well, I had to say something, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Cause they were, this wasn't like, they were like, hey, Mr. Pippen. they were literally like fucking, what do you think about this? You know what I mean? Like, so I had to say something, bro, you know? So then he was like, well, yeah, but I mean, don't you think it kind of like killed the vibe? Like, don't you think it kind of messed up the room? Cause they kind of got a little turned off. And then I was like, yeah, no, you're right. Like a little bit, but I feel like I got him back the best I could have, right, you know, right. with the time I had, or I said something like that. I'm not, I'm not quoting myself verbatim, but something like that. So that's a of, comic saying this. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, um, so then, then I was like, yeah, I mean, I feel like I got him back the best I could, or I got him back or whatever. And he's like, I mean, kind of, like, not really, though. Or something, like, to that effect mm. is what he said. Right, right. And then I was just kind of like, yeah, man, I, I don't know what to say. Like, that's that's just what, that's the choice I made, you know, something like. So then we continue talking, like, me, Kyle, and uh, Mike, Mike Bradshaw, right? We're, we were already talking anyway. So then, like, and, and, like, they're on my side. They're like, yeah, I mean, what's he supposed to do, you know? So, like, we continue our conversation that we were already having. And then he fucking goes like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, because 
I mean, I just was trying to figure out why you'd think you should do that. Why does he care so much? Bro, he brought it up again. So then I kind of started to get irritated because, like, for one, I'm tired. It's the end of the night. You know what I mean? Like, I I had a full day of fucking work and family and shit, and then I did another open mic. Now it's, like, midnight, you know, 1130. It's late. You know what I mean? So then I'm kind of, like, getting – I'm already tired, and I'm getting a little irritated. You know what I mean? So I'm, like – I'm like, dude, I don't really know what more to tell you about this. So I think we should just, I don't like the way this conversation is going, to be right, honest right, with you. Yeah. Like, that's exactly what I said. I was like, so I feel like we should just end the just conversation. Drop just drop it, dude. You know, and then he was like, okay, okay. You know, like he was like surprised I was taking it there or something. <laughs> and then like fucking Kyle and Mike are kind of looking at me like, like, you know, like, cause they're, they're, they feel what I'm doing. Yeah. Bro. Like they feel for me, you know? So yeah. then we're like. So anyway, you know, like did, did, did whatever the fuck we were talking about, dude, a minute or two later, oh I swear God. to God, bro. Cause he, this, this is another thing. This dude also brings up the same things to me every time he sees me. Cause he doesn't come around like as often as we do. Like he comes around every now and then so he goes like, you know, like, well, know. Cal, maybe Californians have a different technique or whatever. You know what I mean? And I'm like, wow. <laughs> bro, bro, like <laughs> don't you, mess with Texas. And then, hey, dude. And, and normally I wouldn't care about a comment like that. Cause like, whatever, like I, I'm, I'm in good spirits and I have a good sense of humor. And I don't give a fuck. But I was like, bro, that's, that's also getting kind of old. Cause you say that to me every time you've seen me oh, wow. for like going on a year. Oh, so wow. like, are you running out of things to say? I don't know what's it's. To, so then we keep going, and then he brings it up again and goes like, "I'm just trying to get advice from you, man, because I feel like you're more advanced than me. So like, I'm just literally, I'm literally trying to ask why you thought it was a good idea to so tell those people to be quiet. Yeah. He's now he's bringing it up again, again, and I now I started to get mad, dude. I was like, I was like, bro, you're bringing this shit up again. I just told you. That I don't know. Because, dude, I don't claim to be an expert on the fucking craft or anything. You know what I mean? Like, and he's mm-hmm. asking me again. And I'm like, it seems like you want to tell me what you thought would have been a better idea, but you're not fucking saying it. You know what I mean? Like, I start to get really mad at this dude. Right? And he's like, no, I'm legitimately asking you why you thought it was a good idea. I was like, are you sure? Because it sure doesn't seem like that's what you're doing. <laughs> you know who what cares? I mean? It's yeah. a three-minute open yeah, mic. This is like, a fucking stupid-ass well, open mic on a Thursday night. Wouldn't that take 30, 40 seconds to do? Like <laughs> yeah, it's, with a three-minute fucking set. It's not like right. this is a show. No. You know what I mean? And it's not like... The, if anyway. it was a show, I could maybe get it, but like it's it's a three-minute open mic bro, at midnight. Bro, yeah. So now I'm getting mad. Now I'm like fucking... I'm raising my voice. Like I'm like, are you sure? Because it sure doesn't seem like you're just asking me a question, dude, because I've answered it three fucking times now. <laughs> And it doesn't seem like you're taking the answer and moving on. And then he's like, no, I'm just trying. I was like, you know what, dude? Let's take this a step further. Don't fucking talk to me. How about you just stop fucking talking Damn. to me? Well, what else am I going to do, bro? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he's the one that's being weird, you know? So I was like, just stop fucking talking to me, okay? Okay? And then I fucking went back to talking to, like, you know, and it's awkward at that point. So then afterwards, like, he fucking went, okay, bro, and just, like, walked away. Um, and then I asked Kyle, I was like, after his, I was like, what, was shout I, out to was Kyle I, Roberts. Yeah. Was I was, I asked him like, <laughs> was I being a dick? And he was like, no dude, the guy was being fucking weird. Like that was weird. You know? So yeah. Sorry about doing that to you. Krug. <laughs> 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 I just, I, he invited me here to formally apologize. Yeah. For, yeah. yeah. But why yeah, did you can't do let that things go. <laughs> But seriously, bro, I want to ask but, you, yeah, why did you think so, it was a good idea? <laughs> So what was this comic a newer guy or was he a more like he's been around? He's roughly been around the same ish time bracket as we have. Interesting. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not like he's like brand new, you know, or anything. And anyway, I'll, like I can tell you after, I'm not going to say anything else about it. Cause I don't want to give too much away and I'm not trying right. to like put anybody's shit out there. I just, I'm talking the thing that pisses me off. It's not necessarily that guy. Cause I don't even know him that well, to be honest, but uh, it's the situation, right? So regardless of what person it was, that shit was, yeah. it was just fucking annoying, bro. It was right, fucking right. annoying. One more question was, is he mainly Fort Worth or Dallas? <laughs> I'm not going to, we can talk afterwards. We can talk <laughs> okay. off the air, bro. We'll, I don't want to say anything else. Dude. Y'all we'll, don't we'll know. Gossip, like, yeah, yeah. We can talk vibes, about it yeah. off the air. I'll tell you every single detail about who it was and yes. shit. But yeah, man, like, uh, fucking yeah, dude, that shit pissed me off, bro. Wow. That shit fucking pissed me off. Is that the most uncomfortable situation you've had with the comic? No. Um, Ooh. Oh, wait. I, I know one. For, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know one. I know one. <laughs> I know one with you. No, no, dude. There's, there's been like a couple. 
There's been a couple. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's been a couple of situations. And, dude, hey, man, I'm not the dramatic type. Like, I'm way too busy to be dramatic. I'm not trying to be confrontational. But, no, I'll say that because this is, like, totally, this is, like, totally fucking, uh, I don't care about talking about this, and I know he doesn't either. Like, dude, I've gotten, so, like, right <laughs> right when I started, wait, are you talking about Jacob? Is this what you're talking no, about? No, sorry. Oh, oh, we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about so J, so fucking. And I, I would talk about this with him if he were here, because yeah, like right. it's almost like funny at this point. Yeah. Marshall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like he, f- <laughs> so okay. When we both first, he started like a tad bit before me. When we started, when I was working the door at Fort Worth, Fort Worth Hyenas, he got asked by this guy named Earl Campbell. Oh. Which, which this became a fucking joke yeah. anyway, dude. Like okay. so, this is really funny. This bro. was before yeah. your time. This right. is really funny, dude. Right, so. Right. Either way, because the whole thing was so ridiculous and it shows how stupid I was being anyway. So Earl Campbell was this dude who was like newer than as new as we were or whatever. And he decided to like try to win over the host of every local open mic, try to get better spots and try to get Mm, a better relationship by putting on a show and putting them all on as headliners, like all the comics that have been doing comedy for several years. So he he put he booked all these comedians that were seasoned. Then he gave some guest spots away and he asked Jacob, he gave Jacob a guest spot and asked him to book other people. So I was mad that he didn't put me on there. Cause I'm like, bro, we're fucking starting together. We're going to open mics. Like, why the fuck didn't you put me on there, dude? You know what I'm saying? And he's like, (laughs) and and he's like, he's like, dude, I don't know. I'm just trying to put people on there. who have been doing comedy longer than me. Like I didn't even really know I was going to get picked for this thing. And I was like, that's fucking bullshit, dude. You're fucking (laughs) like, I was pissed, dude. I texted him like, I can't believe you'd fucking betray me like that. Like I freaked out. I was, I was being stupid, bro. I was being, I was being dramatic, which I can get sometimes. I'm not perfect. Uh, it's rare that I get that way, but sometimes right. I get that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, um, I thought you were good friends. Yeah. But either way, it's, it's yeah. not his obligation to put me, you know what I'm saying? Right, I was right, looking right, at it right. pretty, yeah. I was looking at it from a skewed perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and I shouldn't have even cared. And this is really why you'll hear in a second why I shouldn't have cared. So uh, what, were you saying that to Jacob or Earl? J- no, to Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Right. Okay. And then I ended up talking to Jacob and Earl. We ended up all three having a conversation in person about it. At twilight, and I was oh. like, "This is fucking bullshit, dude. You guys are both <laughs> fucking <laughs> like fucking pissed." Yeah. And then they were like, "Dude, just chill out, dude. It's a guest spot." I'm like, "Exactly, it's a fucking guest spot. Just give it to me." <laughs> you know, stupid know. shit, right? So um, then uh, that same guy, Earl Campbell, who put on that show, he <laughs> he he put on the show, and then he. I think maybe one comedian that was like a headliner or whatever, got a bigger spot, got paid, but pretty much dude, he ripped everybody off. He pocketed all the money and then right, never right. went to any mics again. Yeah. Oh, so he what? just stole, disappeared off he the face of the He basically stole money from everybody. Yeah. yeah. Was it, was it, he got all the money from money? the ticket sales. It was the red room. So it was a bringer show. Yeah, it was a pre-sale yeah, yeah. bringer show. He pocketed all of the proceeds from it, paid like <sighs> one comic when he was supposed to pay every comic right, right. and just dipped and, and stopped just fucking talking. Quit Which, comedy. Yeah. Which was <laughs> which? What, he which, disappeared. He didn't just quit. He disappeared. No, I don't know anybody who knows where he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing that I joke about with that is that I picked him up. We drove to Austin together once before that show, yeah. and I picked him up from a house. He doesn't live too far from me, and I picked him up from his from what I thought was his house. But I was joking with people now because I'm like, bro, that guy was so deceptive and stole the money and never showed up again. He might have like broken into that house and just told me to pick him up from there. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, here's the address. <laughs> and like casually walks outside. But anyway, um, so that was a stupid thing, right? It's like, bro, I was mad about not getting a guest spot for this show that ended up being a total fucking sham yeah. ripoff anyway. Right. Like yeah, it ended up go. just being a fucking disaster, dude. Yeah. Like it, Holly uh, Johnson was on the show and then he even asked people in the crowd for donations of money. I heard that. For yeah. her. Because she drove up from Austin and didn't have any money, you know? Oh my God. Um, and then so fucking Jacob's dad, I guess, gave like uh, her... 20 bucks and then Earl took he pocketed yeah, that yeah even, I, heard, I think Jacob told me that yeah. he just pocketed the money yeah. that, that was I don't, think, I don't think he'll care me saying that it's pretty public knowledge yeah, yeah. And I, I remember I was talking to some people who were on that lineup and yeah, he added in the, the second show yeah. it was it was a lot of like semi big comics that, that oh, okay. we know I, I don't know if yeah, it was a lot of people. It was oh, a lot okay. of people that didn't get paid. It's pretty public knowledge. Oh, gotcha, like, this gotcha. isn't, like, some secret. That, yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah. this is information that's pretty out there. Huh. 
that uh, no one but us gives a shit about, really. Right. So, I, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I could just say they. Just, <laughs> yeah. So. Well, but yeah, because it, it was a show. It's not like this is yeah. like secret information or anything. But um, yeah, and then, dude, and then I got pissed at him again because he, <laughs> like, about a month later, because he like put on this like uh, show like outside like at, a, at a, his college and mm -hmm. like he didn't put me, I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and I yelled at him in the fuck at the door oh at hyenas God, in front fucks. of Cody. Like, and I was like, you're fucking bullshit, dude. You're so fucking shit. God damn, <laughs> and he man. was like, dude, what is your problem, bro? Yeah. Like, and Cody was like, this is uncalled for, man. Like, this <laughs> is just, Cody. yeah. He's like, you know, <laughs> no, I do too. And, then, yeah. and I, so I apologize. No, I apologize to him and Cody. I apologize later, you know? Um, so now, now we're cool. Like yeah. I, I, you know, I was just, I was just out of control, bro. I was, I was dramatic. I was trying to do too many things at once. I was working the door when I shouldn't have been, cause I didn't have time to do right, that right. on top of like comedy and all the other shit I have to do in the podcast. Like I didn't have time like yeah, to do yeah. that, spreading myself too thin, getting too stressed out, worrying about the wrong things. So that was the end of my like fucking drama with that shit. Like I stopped doing that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, um, and, uh, but yeah, that was, that was funny. Yeah. But, um, why did we fucking start talking about this? Why did we start? Oh, because we're talking about drama between yeah. comics. And yeah. Then, oh, yeah. And then you said, I think I knew something. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, know you you brought that up. I know what you're talking you know, about. I think I know. We'll talk afterwards because yeah, yeah. that one I don't really want to say on, on here because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to oh, insult man, anybody. That, that sounds like the juicy one. <laughs> that, well, yeah, it is and it isn't, you know, okay, and, okay. and that has since been patched up if it's the same thing we're talking about. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. So that's all good, bro. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And uh, one more thing about that Earl thing. It wasn't just one show. He added a second show. Yeah. Oh. And apparently him and his cousin or something were recording the sets of everybody and they were supposed to like chop it up and send it to everybody and yeah. they they didn't do that for whatever reason like uh oh his his earl was supposed to pay his cousin but mm -hmm. he never paid them at all oh wow and, even uh, his family member yeah and so so his cousin was like what what what, what the heck man like yeah where, where's the money you, you said you're gonna give me like I'm, I'm like doing all this work and and then he ended up sending the wrong footage to people. Like he was sending them like from the second like the show. the wrong comic yeah, or the yeah. wrong show. Uh, a couple people, like I, I think they swapped comics. Like he just sent the wrong thing. And like he was sending the second show footage instead of the first show when the second show was like completely empty. Mm. And apparently Earl burned a bridge with his cousin. And uh, I forgot who I heard this from. It might've been Jacob. It was probably Jacob because he was the one directly dealing with him on yeah. a lot of this stuff. Yeah. He like burned bridges with literally everybody. I mean, he couldn't have made that much money. No, <laughs> like we we were what? joking about that. How he disappeared? Like he yeah. just travels the country scamming people for two thousand dollars and then right. bouncing town. Yeah, yeah, we were we were because we were always joking because this this has come up multiple times on episodes. And we were joking. I can't remember who it was, but we were joking. Like, what if he went and started a bowling league after that? Like, he just <laughs> picks like things yeah. to get into, like comedy, music, bowling, yeah, he pool. He does it for six months, yeah. and then he invites swimming, yeah, yeah. roller skating. Like, just fucking runs out of scams and hobbies and shit. Riflery. I would respect those him motherfuckers. For that. Will shoot you though, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah. God, the, the amount of memes that came out of that though were so funny. Like, <laughs> the local on little memes and everything. I was cracking up every day. Yeah, that was that. interesting, dude. So I got pissed about a fucking show that ended up being complete bullshit. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That was like a big lesson where it was like that was like the the best thing that could have. No, I'm I'm sad. I'm sorry that happened to comedians. You know right, what I mean? Right. That people got ripped off and they sold tickets. Their friends and family didn't but get. You anything. got away with it. I well, <laughs> I didn't really get away with it. It, just, or, or, it was yeah. just kind of a lesson, oh, like, right, right, bro, right, right. you, you yeah, got yeah. pissed about something that ended up being total bullshit anyway. Yeah, like, yeah so just yeah. don't don't mm -hmm. get mad. And it was just stupid. It was like it was like uh, I was just kind of like in the wrong headspace about things. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Um, and uh, I was just looking at, I was just being selfish. I was looking at it from my side only. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And you can't do that. You know, you got to look at things from from everybody's side. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I've gotten a lot better at that over time. I used to be horrible at that. I used right, to right. only look at things from my perspective. You know yeah. what I mean? And you get better with that over time. That's growth. That's it's growth. It's growth. Right it's growth, dude. Yeah, I think it's very easy to get to that mind mindset, like when when dealing with shows and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah you get salty, you know? Yeah, like because it's live, so and it's normal. See, yeah, yeah. The envy is normal. It's right, just right. how you deal with it. Yeah, should, yeah. You, you you should manage it. You know, and mm -hmm. dude, I mean. You hear that all the time from fucking big, like, you know, big successful comedians. They're like, dude, right, it's right. normal to feel that way. Everybody right, feels yeah. that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, just, you just got to remember, dude, it's not, it's got nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I put 
if I have, like am able to get you on a show and it's just not you, it's not like I fucking hate you. Right, you right, know what right. I mean? Yeah, but who yeah. wants this guy on the <laughs> or show? Or vice versa. <laughs> I've been you know pretty I mean? sought after, I think. You know, yeah, it's, dude. It's, it's, I mean, no, no. As you can tell, your book's <laughs> solid. With yeah. Your, with your shit. Yeah, yeah. Catch In him my, every week. Open mics. <laughs> week. Kyle was talking about doing that. Like, you know how everybody puts their little itinerary yeah. up. He was gonna do like hyenas. Open well, mic, I, I've like, I've seen other comics. Do they that. do that. Yeah. So you're yeah. just trying you're trying to shit on his idea. Then basically, you're like, it's been done. I just like shitting on Kyle. <laughs> I guess. Shout out to Kyle He's one Roberts. of you guys now, bro. He's an he's improv he's gang. He's one of the boys. Yeah. He's <laughs> improv the gang, dude. Uh, <laughs> I wish he was here right now because they had a little squabble recently, him and Diego. <laughs> you had a squabble? We don't have to talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't know if he's... I'm fine with talking. I don't right, know if he is. So yeah, okay, awesome. well, we don't have yeah. to. Oh, okay. yeah. it, it, it's like work-related. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, right, okay, right. okay. Yeah, okay. We're, we're yeah. still cool. But yeah, How many no, people... I, go ahead. Sorry. I mean, it. it can get difficult working with comedy friends you know like because you know where's the line between jokes and like work you know? yeah, yeah 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 when you when you're working uh what about uh what was i gonna say who all so how many people are, are comedians there so you got you it's just me brian and kirsty i think and, and Kyle, Kyle and Kyle, Kyle, and Kyle. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, dude. He doesn't count as a. That's pretty much it. And then there's that one guy like that's like from California, but he doesn't do comedy a lot or whatever. There's a couple of those. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking funny. Bro. No, there's a couple of people there that yeah. like have been on and off with comedy. Like they'll do one mic every three months, and yeah, I, I I'm I've been called a gatekeeper there because I'm like you're not a comic and. Oh really? Yeah, that's that's caused issues. But <laughs> well, he just says facts, you know, like Yeah. Do you have five minutes? <laughs> yeah, like you say that shit. <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay, I kinda wanna talk about this. Yeah, yeah. There was a server there who was pursuing comedy. Okay. And I think I made him quit. Okay. And I think because he <laughs> um he was very quick to say that he's a comic when he did like a mic every three months or so. And I, I offered like free rides and everything all the time. I was trying to get him out, but the excuses kept coming in. Yeah. And so I, I kind of egged him on a little, a little bit. I'd be like, you're not a comic, blah, 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 blah. And then Sean, the manager, one of the managers of the improv posted on Facebook asking, uh, for a local comic of a, I, I guess just say a, a local gay comic for, uh, to host for this headliner that was coming by and he commented his name is like hello right here and i commented below <laughs> him he's asking for comedians oh you this was a social media thing it was yeah, both yeah, it was, it was, it was on the DFW, okay. yeah 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 and then that hurt his feelings and then later of that weekend uh they were saying he he was talking about like oh I I should he was like kind of dropping hints at the manager like we should, I should do guest spot I'd be perfect for this show and then I could do my I, I could do a fun five minutes and I I said like do you have five minutes yeah and that kind of it was during the meeting too like uh, the improv you know pre show meeting so Ooh. everyone went, <laughs> I was like bro like you you gonna say that right now damn. But, like, yeah. I mean, it got laughs. Though. Right, right. No, no, it was oh, funny. okay. It was, it, it, it was yeah, getting yeah. laughs. It okay. wasn't like okay. confrontational okay. or anything. Okay. But everyone okay. laughed but him. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it stunk him because like it yeah. is true, and I don't, I don't know if that's like super appropriate of me saying, but I thought it was funny, and everyone else did too. And then right. later that weekend, he showed up to work drunk, and then he just quit spiraled. After that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think I de uh, definitely attributed to. Yeah, yeah. So a little cherry wow. on top. Yeah, he was. Yeah. The I was the cherry on top for sure. You fucking I roasted think. him. <laughs> yeah, but like, just be honest with yourself. Don't be yeah. delusional. You know, yeah. like if you're doing one mic every three months and you have two and a half minutes of material, don't call yourself a comic, and especially don't expect to get work at a club for a sold out show whenever you have nothing to attribute besides the fact that you work there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that makes sense, dude. But yeah. I, I actually like how uh, Diego does that, though, because, like, for me personally, like, when I first started, the imp like, he kept me accountable, you know, like, he's like, oh, I don't believe you. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're going to do it again. I don't think you're going to show up. Are you really, you know, all the, all the little side comments 
but if you know you felt the good heart in it, you know very deep inside and so it kept me accountable and it kept me you know like i'm gonna show that fucker I'm gonna go <laughs> yeah but I, I guess you know, some people might <laughs> not like yeah, that yeah. you know it's because it is it, it helped me though i like i like you know, grew up with negative reinforcement and <laughs> it's just a regular Korean yeah. household. Yeah. Yeah. Drop you up for the first day of kindergarten. Are you gonna fucking go in? Are you gonna make it halfway? Are you gonna cry to come home? Yeah. Huh? Are you gonna make it the whole way through the day? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I'm glad I was like that. With Brian stuck around. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see him leaving. It's, it's good. It's been fun. It's yeah. Good, you stuck around. What do you think? I don't want to give too much of your secret sauce away here for Ooh. people, but do you are you just kind of playing with the idea of like how your presence is on stage. Cause you do this kind of, it's pretty unique, pretty oh, okay. unique, but are you kind of like, this is sincerely who I am right now. Or are you kind of playing with that as a character or what are you doing? Cause it is different from how you are. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, uh, I guess like, well, it, it's kind of started with like, I just couldn't like my slower pacing was like, because like I just couldn't remember my jokes. <laughs> okay. And and like that pacing, that awkward silence just yeah. seemed to work. Like but I did get some feedback that like, you know, it's like a good way to start or if you have like five minutes, you know, it's like it's like good to start slow, but if I'm doing more time, you know, maybe it'll be good to like have like different gears you know? mm -hmm. so i got you i, yeah, I was yeah. just curious i was right, right, because yeah. i think because i always laugh you know what right, i mean because right. it definitely is like entertaining but yeah. i was just curious if you were like if yeah, that yeah. was a character yeah, I'm just, yeah playing around yeah know? that's cool man but i do talk kind of slower in general i think yeah it's just i'm a little slow a little slow <laughs> 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 you know okay. a little bit on, you know uh, it's very naturally funny ryan just got to work on his fucking jokes. <laughs> I am. I, I'm <laughs> He's like, I am, bro. I am. There's like, yeah. so I haven't had time, dude. I've been so fucking busy. They like, uh, they're going to pass some abortion laws or something. Yeah. They're actually going to overturn Roe v. Wade. Yeah. Whatever that, that sounds horrible. We're good. It sounds like something. Yeah. I don't know. They're probably definitely going to do it in Texas though. Right. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I just great, bro. Yeah. I'm really glad you prepared for this fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah, no, I, I watched no, I'm like I watched like ten minutes of news today. Dude, that's more than I did. I haven't had time, dude. Normally, I listen to Breaking Points. Um, you guys know what that is? No, it's a it's a YouTube. They used to be part of the Hill with Crystal and Sauger, and then they broke off into their own thing. So they don't have any agenda. They don't have any like sponsors that are. They can talk about and cover whatever they want to. So it's right, pretty right. cool. I listen to that all the time because it's like a really non-biased, like kind of uncensored, like uh, news on yeah, the world, yeah. and they cover a lot of shit that a lot of the corporate news, cable news stuff doesn't cover. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, I like to watch Truth Seekers, but they keep getting banned from everything. You yeah, know, it's just chemicals and the water and shit. You know, chemicals in the water and shit. Or oh, chemicals in the water. Yeah. Okay. Like they're doing really Sparking. bad. Yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. dude, you oh, can fucking oh, burp oh, on oh, this. This is not an anti burping podcast. Oh, okay. This oh, is wow. pro burp. No, I just, you know, pro burp here, dude. It's a nice mic. So I, That's cool. Oh, okay. I'm glad you didn't right. just grab. I have one more question. Here. Yeah. You have one more question. <laughs> can we vape in here? Yeah, it's oh, fine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, what kind of vape is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not. Yeah, it's no, not, it's just nicotine. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's not bad boy vape. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. The only reason I ask is because uh, my wife is actually allergic to weed. Marriage oh wow! Yeah, really? yeah, and hemp. Like if something has hemp in it, like if it's like a like a like a lotion or a shampoo or something that has hemp, she'll like break out. She in every way, shape, or form, she's allergic to like cannabis and hemp. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah. That's a unique one. I've, it is know. unique. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess when she like tried to smoke weed or something, you know, back in the day, she like. Almost had an attack. She had like had an attack. Oh you wow. Know? wow! That's what she found out. Kids probably thought she was a narc. Yeah, <laughs> they did. They did. They almost yeah. killed her for it. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Don't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like to talk about it. Um. But yeah, man. How long have you been married? How long have I been married? I've been married for. 
five years. Oh, wow. A little over five years. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time, I yeah. think. It's a long time, dude. It's, it's a, a long, long time. time. It's a long time, man. Um, And, uh, dude, and then I fucking... There's, okay. And then <laughs> going on fucking things. Because, like, dude, all I've had to time for to prepare for for this week's episode honestly is just fucking bitch about the things that have annoyed me this week yeah go for it there's one gonna keep it completely anonymous but there's one this action hap- actually happened yesterday at the improv Ooh. there's one comedian that uh pretty much dude i get along with everybody like me and jacob had that little fucking thing where i got i took everything personally and stuff but we're we're, cool. we're cool we're friends you know what i mean um uh, and I don't really have problems with anybody, you know what I mean? Like in yeah. terms of anybody else, you know, like I, I like most people and stuff. There's just one person, like one comedian that is, dude, just like gets on my nerves that I honestly can't stand at all. Uh-huh. And then I was like involved in a conversation um, yesterday when we were all waiting for the show to start. Uh-huh. And I was talking to a bunch of comedians. I'm going to keep this super in, like anonymous Ooh. and vague, like, cause I don't want to put anybody... I was talking to a bunch of people and we were all hanging out having a great time. This person walked up and just like injected themselves into the conversation. But not only did they, inject, cause that's fine. Like I understand if someone's in a circle and you want to come, if you're going to contribute to the circle and hang and have a conversation, nothing's wrong with that. Right. right. You know, but this person comes in and fucking says like, uh, and I don't know them like this and I don't like them that much already. And then they made like some kind of like backhanded comment off of what I was saying. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, like, I just fucking, I was like, dude, what what the, what is your problem? You know what I mean? Right, and right. I'm going to have to talk to this person again because it's like one of those situations, can you guys relate? Like, take comedy out of it. Take just, it's just people and personal relations. This is one of those things where when someone doesn't know you like that, when someone doesn't know you that in that way, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. they and they start trying to mess with you. Right, You know right. what I mean? And yeah. you have to tell them, like, dude, we're not, like that bro like mm-hmm. don't fucking do that you know what i mean like you guys like like we're friends on a level where i feel like if one of us says something where then right, it's right. you know what i mean yeah. but this is someone who doesn't know me like that that i to be honest i don't really like that much anyway right, right. you know what i mean but i tolerate him i you know i respect him in terms of like i've just tried to keep away yeah. you know because i don't care for him but it's like bro when i'm trying to stay away from you and you bring yourself to me you right, know what right. I mean? Yeah. I think I know who it is. Yeah. But yeah. I, think, I, think, well, I think I know who okay. it is. Too. Well, yeah, well, either well, way. Oh, okay. It's another fucking but, thing. Yeah. I like how I'm like, I'm a, I'm a cool guy, man. I don't like to get drama. I don't like to get involved. And I'm sitting here like, I got into this. this I got into that. Right. I, got into this. I mean, it's inevitable when you're just like in a group of people. Like, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It's, you know, like, I, I, th- I think we know. Who right, right, right. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like, fucking now I'm listing all this up, man. I don't like this guy. But seriously, like in all seriousness, like I... That's pretty much it, dude. Yeah. Like, otherwise, I mean, I, you guys know. I mean, I get along pretty much everybody. I don't have anything against yeah. anybody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, um, it just you might rub people the wrong way because you're so good looking. And very tall. <laughs> very tall. Dude, I don't want to rub anybody the wrong way. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to rub anybody the wrong way, man. <laughs> and I, I sincerely like most people like, no, that no. we deal with and do yeah, comedy. Yeah. I think there's no, a lot of really so cool, cool people. Yeah. I think there's a lot of really yeah. cool people, man. I think there's a, most people are really nice and, and really cool, and I respect most people but yeah that shit right. just annoyed me dude yeah. that's the frustrating thing when you're trying to stay away from somebody you know what i'm saying and then they bring themselves to you that's what i can't stand because it's right. like well i'm trying to yeah. avoid anything with you mm-hmm. you know what i mean for both of our own good you know right, what i mean right. yeah again sorry about that it's just <laughs> <laughs> I just oh love talking God. to you you know dude yeah. yeah and i haven't had time to really talk to a lot of people about this so that's why i'm like putting myself out there on the mm-hmm. podcast yeah man. But yeah, it that was that pissed me off. Right, you know, right. that was annoying. No, I, I agree in the sense like there's mutual respect, you know, like you can say anything to me, I won't be offended. But like, you know, if if they're like you know, if they're you know, just not that funny. <laughs> no, no, you know, <laughs> you know, and, and the Brian's already uh, shooting, uh, uh, firing uh, uh, shots off. Uh, oh, okay. You know, like, I kind of, I know what he's saying though, because yeah, yeah. like, I feel like if you see someone and like they're they're like a killer, they're hilarious. I feel like, like you, you like almost respect them a little bit more than. Oh like, yeah, and then yeah, you know, you feel like you can joke like around more. You know? Joke around or 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 
if that person that is a killer or whatever you feel is more seasoned than you, has more experience than you, gave you some advice maybe yeah, yeah, about yeah. what you could do, right, right, you would take it seriously. Yeah, you would yeah, be yeah. open to that as opposed to somebody who you didn't think so, right? right? Yeah, didn't yeah. think that of, and then they're giving you advice. Not only advice. they're giving you advice you didn't even ask <laughs> exactly. for. Because yeah, yeah. that, hasn't, that hasn't really happened yeah. to me, right, right. but I've seen it happen to my friends, mm. and, the, I, and I don't like it. You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't say anything about because it it's not really my job to step in right, for people. Right, but yeah. like, I'm Can't just really like, do anything. Like, who the fuck? Not only do you not deserve to be given advice out, but then this motherfucker didn't even ask for it, and you're yeah. giving it. You know what I mean? Like somebody who's like good and, and like keeping names out of all this stuff, but like, because I, I my point is I feel the same way. You know what I mean? Because I see people where I'm like, man, dude, this this person is so good, and they have way more experience than me. They're funnier. They're better than me because they have cho- they've been doing it longer. Their chops are better. Their their callus is is deeper. You know, because they've been doing it. You know what I mean? I want to learn from them. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I'll I'll ask like, how do you do this, or how do you build a set, or just advice. Um, and the, it is funny too because the people that are good. Like, they don't normally even give you advice. If, if you ask for it, yeah, they will, yeah. but they're not really seeking to be like, okay, man, here's right, what you right, need yeah, to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, those people don't really do that, dude. Yeah. You know? So, it's just how, the, it's like the rule, man, where, right, like, right. most people that are really good are actually just really cool and don't fucking do anything, and the people that aren't that good are the ones that fucking <laughs> are annoying and shit. Yeah, I think it's like an inflated... Ego or narcissistic thing. I think uh, it comes from insecurity. You're insecurity. projecting. It's insecurity. That projecting. Yeah, yeah. Projecting. They used yes. to say that, you know. It's projecting the insecurity, yeah. for sure. You know, it's like you're upset about, like, where you are versus where you feel you should be or you're insecure about you think that you don't right. have. So you're going to try to, like, shit on other people, you know, yeah. which is, like, a classic, yeah. classic thing, you know. But I don't know, man. I just had to... Right. Get all that out there. Did, did y'all want to do a mochi donut break? Fuck yeah, dude. Let's yeah, break out these right, donuts. Right, we'll stop with the negativity, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sweeten oh, wow. up the fucking episode, dude. I don't want to, I don't want to, um, you choose, you brought these, oh, so. Oh, wow. Okay, so. There's. <laughs> Damn it, no, I got... Yeah, yeah, you know, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> There's. <laughs> like, uh, cereal uh. flavor, and then I think. The one with the gummy bear is passion fruit and then coffee, like brown sugar coffee. Hell yeah, dude. Well, should we show the camera? Yeah, we can show the camera. Yeah. So these are these mochi donuts. Wow, delicious. Wow, there's even a message on here, dude. What does that say, Brian? There's a message that says more. Oh, this is okay. It's like a printed message. My bad. More than just a donut always near you. Let's... (laughs) I thought it was made with love. I didn't know it was just printed. Yeah, right? That's printed, right? Yeah, yeah. Looks printed. Yeah. It could, yeah, it might be. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So we got cereal, passion got fruit. Cereal. I'm going to try the, a piece All of right. the cereal. I'll grab the, the passion fruit. Oh, no, should, 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 we, should we grab a piece of each? I was going to grab pieces, yeah. Oh. yeah Let's grab gonna, a piece of each. I'll wash that way, my hands. That way we all get to try it. Yeah. Mm. That's a good donut, dude. These are really popular in Korea. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you can, yeah. That's fucking good, dude. Sorry to have chewing on the podcast, folks. These fucking mochi donuts are delicious. It's good, dude. The cereal one is good. No one's gone for coffee yet. I'm going to try the coffee one. What do you guys think of Krispy Kreme? Everybody's fucking eating. <laughs> so bad, you know. It's, I don't really get donuts very often. You know, it's pretty rare. They're good when they're super fresh, mm. but I'm not a big fan of the glazed donut. I like a cake donut. Mm. Pastry guy. Cake donuts are a little bit, a little bit like too heavy for. They are. Yeah. They are heavy. Yeah, yeah. They are heavy. It's like very dense. But I feel like because the glazed donuts are lighter, like the fluffy Krispy Kreme style, you end up eating more of them. Mm. Even though they're super high in calories, it just doesn't feel heavy. But then you end up actually consuming more calories. I don't fucking know. Well, it makes sense, though. To me. I don't know. But, um, so, what's been going on with you guys, dude? Any, any updates? Anything crazy? This gummy bear is chewy, sorry. <laughs> is um is Mark Norman sold out? I believe so. 
Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. inevitable. I'm so excited. Yeah. No. Well, see, I'm pissed because, not pissed, but I'm like kind of like, fuck, what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. Because I bought a table for Friday, the mm-hmm. Friday 13 show. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a scary day. But then I got booked on the show. Oh, no. The bar show. So, and I don't want to miss out on time because I think I get mm-hmm. to do like 15 minutes or something. Right, right. So. Oh, wow. Um, I'm in a, dile- I'm in a di- uh, dilemma, you know a what pickle, I mean? pickle, they call it. Yeah. You're in a, why do you have that angle so Oh, because I, I didn't want to chew, <laughs> I didn't want to chew directly into the mic. So I, got, I don't know. How, I don't how care. Whatever you want to do. Up. Okay, I'll just chew into it. What, what an amateur. Oh, I know. Gosh. I'm sorry. Um. Do you have a name for like your view, like your viewers? Crux Nation, dude. Oh, uh, well, okay. I guess, yeah. Okay. If you want, <laughs> not, not like an official name, right, but I right. guess, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, man. Like, I have a lot of listeners, but like YouTube, I need to, I need to start advertising. I need to start doing some stuff now that I have a bunch of multi-camera episodes because um, YouTube is like its own audience. Like people that watch usually religiously just watch, and then the right, people right. that listen, yeah, yeah, listen. Like, and even if people just like have your video on and listen on YouTube, it's still it's a separate group of people like it's usually like the people that go to youtube go to youtube people that consume your content on spotify or spotify and apple is apple so you got to like individually capture everything so Mm -hmm. i have a bunch of listeners yeah yeah but my youtube audience is super super small um and i need to start building that up right right. um but i wanted to wait till i have a bunch of episodes that have multi-cam um and now i do Mm -hmm. you know what i mean because this is gonna be number 41 and then uh, i think i have at least 20 episodes that are like with this little studio and the multi-camera and shit. So, like, that's enough, like, if I advertise it, people can get into it. You know what I mean? Has this been once a week? Once a week, yeah. I've missed... I So, I started in July. I missed one week when I was getting all my new gear set up at the very end of the year during the holidays. Yeah, it's unacceptable. It's really unacceptable. (laughs) It is. There's no excuse, bro. It really isn't. See how he keeps you accountable? Yeah. 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 He was about to fucking just leave, dude. (laughs) He's like, fuck this. Wasting my time. What is the point? I work with For the listeners, he was shaking his head the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him. And I don't blame him. But, um, and then I missed one other one way early on. I think for some, I can't remember. I can't even remember if that's it. I've missed, that's it though. I've only mm-hmm. missed, I've missed one, two tops. Everything else has been religiously every week. And um, yeah, man. I want to do a live episode of uh, episode 100. Ooh. Which is, you know, that's, oh, wow. if you do the math, that's like over a year from now. So. Right. Yeah. What's going to be uh, special besides being live? Just it'll be a live podcast. I'll do it somewhere. You know, I get a club or something. Mm. You know what I mean? And just have guests. Maybe some rotate some people. Maybe, like, ro- maybe rotate, but maybe have core guests and have someone do a stand up to open it. Ooh. Like maybe do 10 minutes up front cool. That's cool. to warm it up yeah. and then start it that's usually how people do got some heartburn from the (laughs) some heartburn (laughs) those are good man those are good those are interesting dude yeah it's like a little chewy right this podcast is brought to you by mochi nut really when you want mochi and a donut in one wow yeah what's what's mochi what is mochi brian you don't know what mochi is here i'll show you mochi is awesome it's a fucking how do you explain it it's like Rice is like sticky rice cakes. You know, it it it's it, it, it just gains like a very chewy consistency, like extremely chewy, extremely chewy uh-huh. rice cake consistency. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll pull it up. I'll show you some mochi, bro. Wow, and you'll see it. The way it they good. like traditionally make it is like, like. They have like a hammer and this one guy rotates the batter and this guy's like hammering, hammering the batter, the rice, the rice batter. And then just over time, it becomes sticky rice. Mochi. Yeah. Mochi. Mochi. Mm-hmm. Give it up for Brian. That was yeah, that's <laughs> good. Are you fucking hosting right now? <laughs> I can't turn it off. Oh, fuck. Here, I'll show you what it looks like, dude. So you've never eaten it? Mm-mm. Wow. It's my first time. That is crazy, dude. Yeah. That's so good. It's a lot of chewing. God damn it. Yeah, it's uh it's good stuff, man. In Japan. Oh yeah. Mochi yeah. was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, mochi was great. Have you been to Japan? 
I I I actually have one. So. Oh man, that's cool. Where'd you go? Uh, I I went to, well I I I got the little like train pass, so we we were just everywhere yeah. with Airbnb, but like yeah, yeah I couldn't t- like the tell you J everywhere. J Rail or whatever. Yeah, the hell. yeah, I yeah. had that too. Yeah, J yeah. Pass or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I forget what it's called. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we yeah. got that. But yeah, I went to like. That's mochi, yeah, by the way. And oh wow! Oh, that looks good. Yeah, those are mochis. Did they? Could they tell that you were Korean immediately over there? Oh, uh, I don't think so. They just spoke to me, and I was like, "Yeah, I was, I was like mute." And and the, I think and some of them probably could because they're pretty racist against Koreans. There. Yeah. Right? Actually, generally, right? One thing I found though is like right, nowadays there's like a like all that like. It's so long ago, like all the like maybe oh, really? like old school Japanese or like be. that. Yeah, but like young. Yeah, the young, the youngins, like don't care. They're almost like obs- like some. There's like a group. Like I met my Japanese friend that I went to college with. Oh, okay. Cousin there, and she was like obsessed with Korean culture. So oh, I was okay. in Japan, and we went to go eat Korean food. Wow. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, no, I don't. So it's different. Times are changing. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So. Well, the one thing that I liked, man, is that when me and my wife were there, uh-huh. um, so we went to Tokyo for a week, and then we were in Kyoto for a week. Right. Um, one thing that made me feel better about Japan was that most people in Japan don't really speak English. Like the majority right, right. of them, they maybe speak a little bit, but most of them don't speak English. Yeah, really. yeah. Which yeah. I liked because you know how the stereotype you hear as Americans is like everybody else speaks the language plus English. Word, you're mm-hmm. dumb. You don't speak anything, but. Most of them didn't speak. Like, some people did. You know, like, in the hotels in Tokyo, everybody spoke English because they kind of have to. Yeah, tourists. Um, Certain servers and restaurants that we went to, like, they were, but only because they wanted to. Everybody else, bro, they would see our fucking white asses, and they would just fucking give us picture menus. They would just, (laughs) oh, that's all right. It's all pictures. Super smart, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they always have these, they have these wax, like, plastic molds of the food in the windows. Like, it's, like, lifelike. So you can just pick. So you just go this one, and then they're like, okay, you know. That's so smart. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you, are you How, how'd y'all how'd y'all get huh, what? Huh? What? How'd y'all get like through like the train station? Like that that was I could never do that on pretty my own. Pretty easy to yeah. figure out because okay. like they had the the Google Map uh has a uh, has a portion of Google Maps yeah, where yeah, you yeah. can like they have the train thing. Right, so right. they just tell you step by step on what trains to take oh, places okay. and it's oh, translated. Okay. Oh, so okay. that's how we did it. And people that are really nice too. Like some people in Tokyo, more people speak English in Tokyo. You know what I mean? And the guy was like, like, do you guys need help? Right, right. You know? Wow. Yeah. And we were like, get the fuck away from us, dude. What the <laughs> fuck is your problem? No, I'm just kidding. No, we were like, we we're like, yeah, thank you. Yeah. You know, I'm like, people there are so nice on the train, bro. Everybody's quiet. It's right, got, right. I think Tokyo yeah. has like, what, like two or three more million people than New York City does, but it's like oh, wow. so quiet. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? It's probably super clean too. Super right? clean. I saw like yeah. three homeless people right. in like the whole fucking city. Yeah, I think yeah. that's. Every homeless person in Japan. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, the thing that I like, though, is that no one thought we were Americans. Like oh, at really? first. Yeah, at first. What they like, think? They thought we were like, they were like, oh, Russia, uh, <laughs> uh, England, right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Norway. Right, right. You know, and we're like American. I'm like, oh, American. Okay. Because we weren't like fat and accents. loud. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, right, right. Huh? <laughs> That's how they fucking did it. Yeah. yeah. So, but now, (laughs) now the Australians though, like they they obviously knew, they obviously knew that we were American, you know? Yeah. Like they were like, you know, they were Americans. Yeah. Yeah, Crikey, mate. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Oh, so it's okay to make fun of that. Yeah. (laughs) It's a good point. I'm sorry. What the fuck, dude? I apologize to all of Australia. How dare you do what I just did? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah but you don't have to do the whole eye thing like, <laughs> you're listening he did the eye thing in the accent. i didn't do the eye thing he pulled bro. out a triangle why are you trying to be canceled <laughs> I didn't do any, look at the video we right, reference right. you will see that i did no such you're eye canceled thing, for bro. a week buddy can, until the video can i, comes week? Well, can so I do the you, eye thing huh can i do the eye thing i think you're oh, allowed to bro oh, okay. yeah Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh. Uh, I hope that's in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> are, are your parents anti-Japanese? No, but I, I um, he's not allowed to talk about it. Uh-oh. No, like, I remember like, uh, like the church I went to, like, 
a lot of the people, like the adults, were like they wouldn't buy Toyota or any of the Japanese. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they have Korean J- Jesus. Do they just have like Japanese say then or? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Just, yeah. laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah. Well, how, how long have you been here? I've been here like. 20 plus years. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, So you came over when you were like a baby or something? Yeah, yeah. I came over here when I was like six or seven. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in in Dallas the whole time or? Yeah, Dallas. And then like I went to college in like Laguna Beach. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, in Orange County? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm from LA, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. From North Hollywood, yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, was there for like five years and then. I just moved here a, like a, a year and a half ago. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. During the pandemic. Right, right. Did you ever do, did you do comedy over there? A long time ago oh, for okay. a very, 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 very short amount of time. Gotcha, so it doesn't gotcha. even barely count. Yeah, but yeah. technically, yes. Right, right. I did stand up yeah. there. Yeah. Very briefly. Yeah. They have K-Town over there. K-Town is cool. Yeah, K-Town. K-Town is cool. Great Korean barbecue over there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. There's one in like every corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over there. A lot of them are cash only too, which is annoying. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like if you don't plan on that and you forget. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, dude. Well, otherwise, guys, we are uh, at time. God, dude, I'm fucking what? so I've been so tired. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Um, are you good? Do you want to talk about your podcast? I know you get weird about this. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> are you guys starting or do you not want to talk about it because you don't know what you're doing yet? Well, we, we can say it. It's already been said, so we, we can say it. It's uh we do plan on Huh? We d- <laughs> <laughs> We are starting yeah. a podcast. Right, it's right. gonna be called Door Guys. The Door Guys. It's, Fuck yeah. It's gonna take place in the green room of the Addis world famous Addis and Improv. So you're not doing the other thing that you were talking about then? Other thing that we're talking about? Were you talking about doing something like where you Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't it like another format, or are you not doing that format? What were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Say it, Kirk. Say no, no, it. I don't go, know. Go, go, no, go. no, I don't know. Was it, wasn't it something else that you talked about other stuff or something? Uh, like, like, we are going to be... It's going to be... <laughs> Oh, you got oh you I, got some I, other plans? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you're okay. you're you're involved oh, in the plans. Pl- please say the reason why you guys are starting one though. Who told you to and what did they say? This is because that's the real funny thing. Okay, because we have been told many times that, that <laughs> you hit yourself that, on the mic. Yeah. Well, we 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 have very interesting uh dynamic. You know, we we've been told me, re, I'm not gonna say names, but what's wrong with that? <laughs> He said it to you, and it doesn't matter. Whatever, right, whatever yeah. you want to do, whatever. All right, you j- j- just a lot of local comics, like like Ryan Perio, Andrew uh, Deacon, uh, a lot Marissa Nieto. A lot of people have like said that. Well, I didn't even know it was that many. Yeah, yeah. Like you shouldn't have said that. I'm yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we they they're just like they didn't even know that like we plan on starting anything, and they're like, Man. Ryan Perio specifically said like you guys should start a podcast. You guys are weird, and I I think yeah. I think. Uh, the way our relationship is interesting. The premise is going to be how long it takes for me to get inside Diego's heart, body, and mind. <laughs> <laughs> Please let it just be an hour of that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fucking cool, though. So, yeah, keep a lookout. They're going to have some kind of podcast, Door Guys. Are you going to call it Door Guys? It's going to be called oh. Door Guys. What, Door Dash? Door Dash. Wow. That's <laughs> no, it's probably taken. I think it might be. It might be. We can check. But right now, as of right now, it's door guys. Uh we're still waiting. Door on, guys. We're still <laughs> we're still <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting on uh on, on to get like the equipment and everything. Hell and yeah. We're gonna get it started. We're gonna have art done by professional artist Brian Kim. Uh, That's awesome. Oh, yeah, because you actually do art and stuff. He's legit. Yeah. He's uh, done, like, official concept art. Yeah, my sister is a pretty accomplished artist. She did that. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, no, I was going to ask about She that. did that. Yeah. It's my sister. She did that, And that's old, bro. That's out of date. Right, she's, right. she's got tons of stuff. Yeah, yeah. She did that years ago. That's your sister? No, yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> well, that's, that's, uh, that's work done by my sister. Oh, right, right. <laughs> that would be rough yeah. if that was my sister, bro. Yeah. Like, Jesus, dude. How long has yeah. she been transitioned? Y'all are, like, <laughs> twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 gonna. I kind of want to keep this part a secret, but I'm gonna kind of say it. 
You yeah. know what? I might as well just say what? what? Like, I'm, I'm well, the only one who cares. Don't do anything you're not comfortable with, bro. Yeah, Diego was very secretive. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep some things. All right, we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna like do other forms of entertainment and okay. release them as we do the podcast. There we go. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. dude. It's gonna be fucking cool, yeah, dude. Yeah. Just keep a lookout for that. I'm sure either one or both of these guys will be back for updates on that when it develops more. But otherwise, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, Crux, yeah. Crux, yeah. Crux, yeah. Thank you so much. Let's all, no, yeah. let's, let's, we can do better than that. Guys. Okay, okay, do, let's okay, do okay. one. Okay, three, two, one. Crux, Crux yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let me hear you say Crux, yeah! Crux, yeah! Let me hear you say Crux, yeah! Crux, yeah! Crux Yeah Podcast. Crux Crawford!